Hi. Hi, I'm Pam, global nutritionist for Abbott's Lingo Business. So what's happened with Lingo in the, in the, over the last year? So as you know, Lingo is a powerful continuous glucose monitor, a biosensor that pairs with an app and you get minute by minute data on your smartphone of how your glucose is doing throughout the day. Lingo is now available over the counter and it's in the United States on hellolingo.com. And how many people use your technology? So Abbott is one of the leaders in glucose monitoring and Lingo is built from that strong platform known as Freestyle Library, which is used by over 6 million people worldwide. Lingo just launched in the US and we are gathering or gaining followers every single day. How does it communicate from the patch to the phone? So once you apply the Lingo biosensor, you're going to pair it with your... Oh, oh, sorry. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. So once you apply the Lingo biosensor, you're going to pair it with your phone and it's going to stream minute by minute data via Bluetooth. Just Bluetooth? Just Bluetooth. And it just works for how long? Uh, each biosensor is going to be worn for 14 days and it's always on. So swimming, showering, it's kind of life proof. So uh, my neighbor, for example, has a little machine. She has to touch it to re get a reading. So what is that? Previous versions of CGM and s perhaps some other versions, you have to continually scan with your phone. Lingo is always live. So as long as your phone is close to you, Bluetooth is on, it's going to pair. That's a big advantage yes. to have a constant yes, info. Because, yes, because previously you would have to scan. You might lose data if you didn't scan soon enough. Lingo is different. And then you get all kinds of statistics on the app. What, yes. what is in the app? So Lingo is really working to translate your glucose data because glucose is going to change throughout the day, minute by minute, and not all glucose movement matters to your metabolic health. So one of the things Lingo is going to do is highlight the times where you have kind of spikes and crashes that impact your metabolic health. And it's going to assign something called a Lingo count to each spike and crash. You're gonna get a lingo count target throughout the day. It's kind of like a golf score, something you wanna stay below. And over time, lingo's gonna count, coach you to get a lower score, to lessen your spikes and your crashes, because those are tied to mood, energy, focus, hunger, sleep. So we wanna keep kind of that blue line throughout the day and stay steady rather than a lot of the purple uh, spikes and crashes. And so basically, throughout the day, as you uh, need more sugar or need less sugar or... So one of the main things that's going to influence our glucose is what we're eating, right? So throughout the day, I'm going to be tracking what I'm eating. And you can see during times of blue, that's actually exercise. So when we exercise, our body moves glucose from storage through our bloodstream to muscles. So we spike, but when you log your spikes, it's not a harmful spike to your body. It's, it's a healthy, healthy spike, healthy exercise. So there's no lingo count associated. It's really the foods that I'm logging that have some lingo count. So you, you have can to see, type in what you eat? You type in what you eat, and you can do it any way that works for you. So if you want to do add your portion, add the brands, it's really an open forum so that you can scroll back day to day, week to week, to know what you ate and how your body responded Can to you it. Can you please use AI and just the camera recognize what you're eating? I think we're moving to a world where food logging becomes simpler, yes. Because uh, there's this crazy chat GPT, Gemini and stuff, maybe you integrate and it totally knows what it is. Right. And in theory, it could help you log it really quick. In just take a, yes. People already take photo of their meals. Right. So you should just like, integrated right. in the app. So we're always looking for new integrations, new innovations with Lingo and optimizing it. You could you could uh, recommend uh, diets right. and stuff based on the On know, the knowing your glucose input, yep. So right now we're recommending through our discovery tab, kind of, it's not working in this environment, but the discover tab has kind of a library of information, recipes, and guidance because there's coaching throughout the app to help you understand why glucose matters and what you should do to optimize yours. So there you, you just have a morning snack tag. 
Yeah. So that you kind of like, uh, it's a so quick it's a one plus. Snack. I, it's not going to work because of the Bluetooth, yeah. but you morning snack and then I log what I'm going to eat. And then I'm going to kind of play detective to know what I ate, how my body responded and what I might want to do differently next time. Is this over the counter? Yes, over the counter. Anybody can get it? Anybody can get it. Uh, over insulin. 18, not on insulin. Yes. And how many millions of people are potential targets for this? So that's, that's a good question. Um, so I think we see a world where a lot of individuals can really optimize their metabolic health. And we know that, at least in the US, many of us have poor metabolic health that we should start to really fine tune. Maybe uh, the politicians should get involved and kind of like mandate this and say, mm -hmm. hey, especially the American politicians say, let's push American technology to everybody. And like, let's try to make America healthy. I'm joking again. Yes, I know. I, I was going to say, I do feel like most all people will benefit from really peeling back the curtain, knowing what's going on in your body and then like knowing how to optimize in a way that's very personalized and works for you. So this is just blood glucose metering, is it? Yeah, so the biosensor is measuring interstitial fluid, the glucose, and then it's sending that data to the app where it's translated. And anything else it's measuring, like uh, just O2 or anything? Nope. That could be another sensor. Yeah, so this they, it's analyte specific, and the analyte that it's measuring is glucose. In theory, your company could be doing a whole bunch of other things. Uh, Abbott does do a whole bunch of other things. So whether we're measuring glucose or we're measuring another lab value or we're working for optimal health, wellness, cardiovascular, um, Abbott has that wide portfolio that we address. In theory, you combine everything in the app? Are the other sensors compatible with the app? Uh, nope, this app is compatible with only the Lingo Biosensor. All right, uh, so this is a big deal. Uh, are you reaching other continents? It is available in the UK, yes. UK and yes. Europe later. Europe, we'll look at other markets, yes. Asia? Asia, I think, you know, it'll be interesting to see kind of where this wearable technology goes next, because I think we can all benefit from these insights. So you're wearing a t-shirt, is there any risk that uh, clothes pulls it off? You do want to be aware of where your biosensor is and living with your biosensor. Um, but no, it's really designed to be life proof. It's got a great adhesive. Think of it as like a strong bandage that stays with you across that wear. And yeah, so so uh, what? who are the competitors in other continents? And, and are you doing stuff that nobody else does in that kind of ease of use? So I can't speak to competitors, but I can say that Abbott globally is just about in every country, every continent. And yeah, I'm just wondering, like, is this like the cutting edge ease of use for this stuff yeah, so, in the whole world? Yeah, Abbott has always has been the leader in continuous glucose monitoring for a long time. This Freestyle Libre has been out for over a decade. All right. But again, cool. this is one of the first times that we have it over the counter in the U.S. without a prescription. And is it affordable to buy a bunch of them to have them the whole year? How much yeah. is going to cost if I want to be monitored the whole year? Um, it is forty-nine dollars per biosensor, but then you can get you know one month at a time, twelve weeks at a time, and like it renews the subscription. And the longer that you're using Lingo, the more insights you're getting, and the more cost-effective it's going to get. Is there any chance this could just be included with the insurance? Right now, it's HSA and FSA eligible. What does that mean? So you can use your health spending account or your flex spending account, depending on how your health accounts are set up. 